everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be giving you some cyber hygiene tips to keep all your devices malware free. Now, these tips apply to almost any device, but I'll be talking about computers since they're generally more susceptible to malware. I'll also be showing you how using a reliable antivirus could give you a much easier time applying these tips. Now, before we get into this video, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description below, along with some discounts. So if you're not sure which antivirus to use, make sure to check out the description down below. All right, so starting with the first and most obvious safety measure, which is gonna be using a reliable antivirus. No matter how careful you try to be online, you're always at risk of attracting all sorts of malware. Having an antivirus program present at all times would lower the risk by a lot and will keep you protected no matter what you're doing. Also, make sure that your antivirus is always updated and to make it easier for you, turn it on auto updates. The reason for this is that you have 450,000 new pieces of malware being registered every day and antivirus companies are always updating their malware databases to make sure you're protected from the most recent and emerging threats. As for tip number two, try to be cautious of phishing attempts at all times. Phishing attacks are almost always done through mail, but they can also be carried out through SMS and calls. And if you're wondering what phishing attempts are, it's basically cyber criminals sending an email impersonating a legitimate business or person and will try to convince you to click on the malicious links and download malware on your device. Alternatively, you can use an antivirus to help with phishing scams since most antiviruses nowadays use machine learning and can detect phishing attempts and scans on your behalf. Other than that, they can automatically close dangerous websites and stop drive-by downloads. So should you press any unknown link by accident, it won't be as dangerous. For a third tip, that's gonna be using strong passwords. Make sure that all your accounts have different passwords so in case one of your passwords falls into the wrong hands, they won't have access to your accounts. Here, you can use tools such as Norton's Password Manager, which not only suggests strong passwords, but also keeps track of all your different passwords and automatically inputs them when needed. For the fourth tip, try to use two-factor authentication whenever you can. This is basically to give you a second chance at surviving a data leak. If some cyber criminal tries to access your account from some leaked data they got their hands on, they have to fill in a second password that is always rotating and changing. For this, I would recommend using the free Google Authenticator app as it's pretty simple and easy to use. As for tip number five, always enable your device's built-in firewall or install a third-party firewall to monitor incoming and outgoing network traffic. You can also get an antivirus that has a firewall to keep all your protection tools in one place. For example, Norn360 has a smart firewall that monitors communications between your computer and the other computers on the internet and also protects your computer from common security problems. Moving on to tip number six, always try to back up your important data either on a separate physical drive or a cloud-based drive. And that's to protect yourself in case you become a target for ransomware. If you don't know what ransomware is, it's basically a type of malware that locks all your data and tries to extort you to pay money in exchange for the decryption key. Reliable antivirus programs such as Norton provide cloud storage for your important data. As for our seventh and last tip for this video, try to always use a VPN while using the internet. VPNs will help in encrypting your online traffic and making sure neither your ISP nor any other party are spying on what you're doing. A lot of antiviruses offer VPNs nowadays, such as Norton, Total AV, and McAfee. So if you don't want to pay for a standalone service, you can get any of these three. Keep in mind that they don't have as many servers and features as some standalone services like ExpressVPN, but they do give you the necessary encryption that you need to stay safe online. So to sum it up, by following these cyber hygiene practices, you can significantly reduce the risk of malware infections and enhance your overall all online security. And that's basically all the tips you need to know to stay malware free. As you may have seen, almost all of them can be done by getting a reliable antivirus. So if you want some recommendations on antiviruses that combined all these features, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I personally recommend in the description and down below, along with some discounts. Also, if you'd like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.